what's up you freaking geniuses so in this video i'm going to teach you how to find the diameter of a circle when you're given the area all right so here the problem just says the area of a circle is 420 feet squared what is the diameter so there's two formulas that we have to find the area of a circle so the area is equal to pi r squared and the area is equal to pi d squared all over four now this formula over here uses r because it uses the radius and this formula over here uses d and d stands for the diameter so the formula that you want to use just depends on what you're looking for or what you're given right so here we're looking for the diameter so let's use the formula that uses the diameter right so the area of a circle is equal to pi times d squared all over four so what do we know well, the problem tells us that the area of the circle is 420 feet squared. So let's plug in 420 feet squared for A. So let's say that 420 feet squared is equal to this side, pi times D squared all over 4. All right, so here we're trying to solve for D, so we're trying to isolate it. So let's get rid of some of the stuff on this side. Starting with the denominator, this 4, we can get rid of it by multiplying both sides by 4. Okay, so on this side, the 4 on the bottom and the top cancel out. And then on this side, we have 4 times 420, which is equal to uh, 1,680. And our units, again, are feet squared, right? And that's equal to whatever is left on this side, which is just pi times d squared now. Pi times d squared. The next thing we can do is get rid of this pi, right? So we can just divide both sides by pi on this side they cancel out and then on this side we have 1680 divided by pi and remember pi is equal to approximately 3.14 so you could plug in 3.14 for pi right there or you could just use your pi button on your calculator but in either case you should get that this is approximately equal to 534.76 and again don't forget your units feet squared and so that's equal to whatever we have left on this side, which is now just d squared, right? So it's equal to d squared. Now, in order to solve for d over here, we need to get rid of this exponent, 2. And in order to get rid of this exponent, we just have to take the square root of both sides. Okay, so on this side, the square root and the squared exponent cancel each other out. So then all we're going to be left with is d. And then on this side, we just have to take the square root of 534.76 and that's equal to approximately 23.12 and the other thing that happened here remember on this side the square root and the squared exponent canceled out so the same thing happens over here the square root and the squared exponent cancel out so instead of having feet squared we now just have feet all right so 23.12 feet is equal to d the diameter and that makes sense right because the diameter is simply just a length it's not an area so it makes sense that our units would also be linear so if you found the video helpful definitely leave a thumbs up down below and if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples just let me know in the comment section below